in this tutorial I'm just going to introduce you to the factorial notation under binomial expansions so first of all what factorial means is uh, when you see n factorial before I can expand that let me simplify what let's say you have 4 factorial what does that mean so what that means is you need to multiply 4 decreasing all the way up to 1 that's what it means equally if I get 5 factorial it is also going to be equal to 5 I start reducing by 1 until I reach 1 itself so 5 times 4 times 2 times 1 okay but all the same I want you to know that uh, 1 factorial itself is also equal to 1 and then 0 factorial is also equal to 1 okay now there are a few things that are interesting that I'd want you to, to get from onset things like um, if you look at 5 factorial if you observe you're seeing that you have 4 all the way up to 1 which is like that, which is equivalent to 4 factorial. So I can express 5 factorial to be 5 times 4 factorial. Why? Because 4 factorial is the same as 4 multiplied by the numbers less until we reach 1. That's something interesting about the factorial notation. So in other terms, how I can express this is. Uh, I wouldn't be wrong if I said the phi that we have reduce it by reduce it by one. So I'll say five minus one and then factorial. So we do understand five minus one is what will give us what? Four factorial. Now let's get to something more interesting than that. So from that same idea that implies that if I've got n factorial, it is the same as n itself, and then I reduce it by what? By 1. Don't, for, no, don't forget the factorial there. That's exactly what we did for 5 factorial. 5 factorial is the same as 5, and then we said 5 minus 1 factorial, which is 4 factorial, which is... 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We've proven that already and we've seen that is true. Now with that understanding I would also want to get a bit advanced. So 5 multiplied by 5 1. I already have said uh, that is the same as 5 multiplied by 4 factorial. So would I be wrong if I said it is also equal to 5 minus 1 and then I decide to subtract again a 1. So if I subtract a 1, the factorial will go. And then I'll say, now 5 minus 1 minus 1 will be 5 minus 2 factorial. Am I wrong? So in other terms, what I'm trying to say is this is the same as 5 times 4. Now three, 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial. So which is still true. This means 5 times 4. Now 3 factorial is the same as 3 times 2 times 1. So the one on top there. I can remove a factor again if I want and then I can include minus 1 again which will be n minus 2 factor. This is very important. You understand why I'm trying to talk about all that. Now, let me give you some ideas on what we're going to talk about next. So in the next tutorial, um, we'll just proceed and talk about the coefficients of a binomial. So whenever you get to say something like uh, a and b like that these are the coefficients of a binomial expansion okay I'm sure you've seen something like um, a anyway let me use the, the actual letters that we most to use so we should use n and n and r so we covered this in the introduction video. So n and r are usually the letters that we use. So what that means is if you are told to expand something like let's say 
a plus b to the power n. What that means is uh, when it comes to expansions here, it will be a to the power n minus r and then b to the power r. Of course, sometimes b is our x. So I already introduced the binomial expansion and I believe you already understood this. But if you've not, don't worry, we'll cover it in the next tutorial. Now, my focus is I want to explain what nr in the brackets mean. So that part, what it means is, or what it implies, we're just talking about combinations here. So if, if you have a calculator, it's n combination r. Okay. Now, trying to expand this, it is the same as n factorial over the difference of n and r okay factorial and then multiply by r factorial okay so if you've not gotten it don't worry what if we say i'll use an example five and two would you give it a try so what you need to expect there is that is the same as 5 itself factorial over the difference between 5 and 2 factorial and then 2 factorial. Okay, that's the basic idea. That's, that's what's happening there. So on your next step, you have 5 factorial. 5 factorial. Now 5 minus 2 factorial is the same as 3 factorial. And then you have two factorial there. Okay, so of course this one is very easy because you're able to expand them. How? Three factorial is the same as three times two times one. Two factorial is the same as two times one. Five factorial is the same as. So let me just try to show all that so that you try to see what I'm trying to say. So five factorial is the same as five times four times. Now remember we said it's the same as three factorial, right? Because we, we need to multiply 3 all the way up to 1 as well. 3 times 2 times 1. Now, instead of doing that, you can just say 3 factorial. So that I don't need to expand the bottom part. I'll leave it as it is. So that the 3 factorial can cancel out. But don't forget that there's also a 2 factorial, which is the same as 2 times 1. Which, if I divide into 4, give me a 2. Giving us the answer of 10. I think that introduces some of the things that are interesting about this. So that... If you are given something as big as 10 factorial and then you are given 7, you don't have to begin writing the 10 factorial, 10 times 9 times 8. That would be, take a lot of time and you become a bit complicated. So instead what you do is you understand that that means the 10 factorial and then on the bottom it means 10 minus the 7 factorial and then 7 factorial as well. So don't forget this. That's what it means. This is um, this is what we're now calling the the binomial coefficients, which I was supposed to cover in the next video. I don't know. I found myself talking about them already in this very video. So you know it is well. <laughs> so ten factorial on top. We'll leave it as it is. And then 10 minus 7 will give us 3 factorial. And then we have 7 factorial. So you understand that 10 factorial is 10 all the way up to 1. Now that will take a lot of space and will be complicated. Assume your calculator is not even allowed. So what you would do there, you would say 10 times 9 times 8. So I'm deliberately going to end on 7 factorial. Because I know 7 factorial is representing numbers 7 times 6 times 5 all the way up to 1. Why am I ending at 7? It's because I do have it on the bottom. So I don't need to simplify the 7 factorial because these can just divide. Okay? So that will remain with 3 factorial. Now 3 factorial can easily be expanded to be 3 times 2 times 1. So that we can divide some of these. 3 into 9 is 3. 2 into... We can take to 10. Okay, let me take to 8. That's 4. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 10 is 120. So that's how you can easily simplify these coefficients, binomial coefficients. 
so you understand why it is important to talk about all this okay so in the next video now let me go in, let me continue and then explain the binomial theorem now that you understand what binomial coefficients represent and what they mean